So this recipe is actually the most simple thing you're ever gonna make. All you're gonna need is some rice, some ground beef, some bell peppers. I actually was gonna cut it in half and use half of the bell pepper, but this is bell pepper soup, so I thought why not have a whole bell pepper. You're gonna need a can of tomato sauce. It called for diced tomatoes, but we personally prefer just the sauce, an onion, and some garlic. So the normal recipe actually calls for two pounds of ground beef, multiple things of bell pepper, and I thought why not make it cut in half and show you guys how to take a normal recipe, cut it in half, and all the ingredients and recipe items that I use. So let's get right into today's video. Also, I'm using the other half of this ground beef for tomorrow's recipe. So you're basically paying for one thing of beef, but two meals, and it's absolutely amazing. Either or, you could definitely take the whole pound and make things that you can have leftovers with. But if you're like me and my family, you don't really prefer leftovers. This is the perfect way to not waste and to have multiple different meals with the same one pack of meat. Um, hopefully I'm making sense when I say that. But yeah, let's get right into today's video. So before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to do a PSA. So with this series, I really wanted to bring you guys super simple, yummy, easy meals. Meals that two people can eat or meals that multiple people in your family can eat. In my family, we're not really, well, me and Gabe, we're not really big on leftovers. And I've noticed how much food we are wasting because we don't like leftovers. And I find that there's a lot of people out there that don't like leftovers. And when you get on YouTube, usually it's videos to freezer meal prep or to have leftovers. And the case for us, is we just don't like to eat leftovers. So I thought with this series, I can show you guys meals that you can create in a bigger quantity or make them the way that I am. So like today, I did everything cut in half. I'm taking one pound of ground beef, but making two meals out of it. That way we can have multiple meals during the week. Now I know with busy moms and busy families, you know, it's not really logical for you to cook every single night, so you need to have your leftover nights. Um, but this is just how me and my family are. Um, I wanted to cook every night or cook every other night um, if we want to go out or anything like that. So really with this series, I wanted to show you guys how you can create meals that are perfect for two or the meals can be turned into meals for larger families. And with every single recipe, I'm going to link down below a almost similar or the exact recipe that I use from Pinterest. That way, if you guys need bigger measurements, you can. Like I said today, I'm doing mine in half. So I wanted to show you how you can take a whole pound of ground beef and turn it into two separate meals. Now, like I said, for busy moms, that's probably not the best case for you guys. It's probably easier to make one big meal and do a bunch of leftovers. And some days I wanna show you how you can take your leftovers and turn them into other meals. I am really craving right now some chili, but I want to take the chili and make stuffed bell peppers. I've seen someone on TikTok do that where she took her leftover chili, put it in a bell pepper, and literally ate the crispy bell pepper with the hot chili. Like, that literally sounds amazing. But I hope that makes sense with you guys with this series. I just really want to cook super simple meals, but also show you how you can take one pack of chicken breast and make multiple meals out of them, and then what to do with your leftovers. And if you don't have any leftovers, if you're like us and don't like leftovers, how to cook for just two, which is really hard. So we're going to learn together how to cook for two. Um, but to get into this recipe, I took half of an onion and a whole large green bell pepper. I chopped up my bell pepper pretty rough because it is bell pepper soup and I wanted my bell pepper to be super like there. I wanted to be able to taste it. The recipe that I followed actually you said to use slap your mama seasoning. Like that was like one of the main seasonings they said to use. So I really generously put it in there. I need to refill all of my seasonings. Um, so bear with me. I put in a little bit of black pepper or what was left of my black pepper and then some garlic salt. So I did didn't use any salt in today's recipe and I wish that I did because of the tomato but the garlic salt did add a little bit of a good flavor because it had the garlic and the saltiness um, but I do highly recommend to do maybe a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt for the tomato sauce um, the original recipe does call for tomato, like diced up tomatoes, but the thing about cooking is you can literally change any recipe and make it your own and make it fit to your family. And so this is what I'm doing. I'm just making this fit to my family. So I did um, let the vegetables cook up a little bit and then I went ahead and added my garlic in. They didn't say to let everything cook down before your garlic. I personally prefer to let my garlic um, come in after my vegetables have been cooking for a while because then that garlic flavor will stick and it will won't stick to the bottom of the pan but I'm just following the recipe and this is what they said to do so I did it and y'all it smelled so good fresh veggies cooking together it always smells so good um the recipe did say to cook in a Dutch oven skillet pot so that is what I'm doing I'm using my small one this pot looks pretty big but honestly it's actually really small it's smaller than my hand um 
And then I went ahead and put in my half of my ground beef. Um, I love to use the extra lean ground beef from HEB. It's just my personal favorite. You don't have to drain it because there's barely any oil. And I usually keep the oil in my um, food because I think it gives it extra flavor. Next up, I went ahead and added in my tomato juice. As you can tell, the um, ground beef is not all the way cooked, and that is okay, y'all. This is a soup. It is going to boil and cook up. Um, I tried to show you guys the uh, beef broth, but I wasn't able to. So I went ahead and did half a thing of beef broth. You can even use, like, chicken bouillon um, with the beef flavor. I didn't have any of that, and I found this in the back of my refrigerator, so I wanted to use that up. And, y'all... Make sure you get those bits of like garlic and onion flavor scraped off the edges because that is where your flavor is at and that is what makes your soup taste so good. So um, you're just going to go ahead and mix it all together and let this boil up for a little bit. I personally prefer to use bowl in a bag rice. Y'all, this cooked so evenly and so easy. It was the perfect amount. So this is bowl in a bag jasmine rice. I broke open that bag and put in my rice. Um, with this, you do want to stir it constantly and make sure you are getting the bottom stirred up because you do not want your rice to stick and it will stick. So then I went ahead and added in some onion powder. I talked about this last time. The ground up onion powder is the way to go. I did some more slap your mama and then um, mix that up and y'all, I'm not even done making it yet, but y'all, this soup was so stinking good. So this was my own secret touch. I was tasting it and I was thinking, what does this soup need? And it needed some ranch. So I did barely any ranch. I didn't even use a full like half a packet or anything like that. And it took the soup to the next level. I really like that. Um, it, I feel like with this type of recipe, having the container of ranch seasoning would be easier than opening a packet and using half. Because now I can't really use that other ranch to make dip or anything. But still, it's so worth it. So I am a heavy, heavy seasoner and I went ahead, I forgot to film, but I put in some cavenders, some pepper, I put in some crushed red pepper flakes and y'all, it made it kind of spicy, which I really liked. Um, honestly, now watching this back, I forgot that I added those red pepper flakes and I was trying to figure out why it was spicy and now it all makes sense. It was the red pepper flakes or maybe the slap your mama, but slap your mama is not really spicy to me. It starts to get salty in my opinion, um, but then I just let this baby boil. I let it boil for a while because you want that rice to cook up and you also want to keep stirring it because you don't want your rice to stick because it can really end up sticking and that would be bad. Um, I personally feel like next time if I do make this again, I would want my soup to be a little bit more soupy. Um, my personal opinion, I like my soups runny. Um, Gabe likes them thick. He doesn't really care. Um, but most people eat their soups thicker, but I like mine kind of at this consistency, really thin. Um, but I did notice that once the rice was fully cooked, it did soak up all that flavor. So it wasn't as soupy, which is fine. It still tasted amazing and it was really, really good. But I went ahead and put it down on low and I let this thing just boil for a while. I wanted the rice to get fully cooked. I wanted all those flavors to get cooked. And y'all, this was so easy and so good. Honestly, one of my new favorite recipes to make. I found it on Pinterest and I also found it because Gabe is obsessed with stuffed bell peppers. Like that is like one of his favorite things his mama made. And where he went to high school, every Thursday they made stuffed bell peppers. And I'll never forget when we first started dating, he would always talk about these stuffed bell peppers. Um, and since I was homeschooled, I didn't really... I never tried them because I was homeschooled, you know. Um, so he was like, I was asking him if he would be down to try a stuffed bell pepper soup. And he was super hesitant at first. He was like, how the heck can you make a stuffed bell pepper soup? And actually, this ended up being one of his favorite meals I have ever made him. Which I feel like he says that every time because that's just like the husband thing to say. But I really could tell he liked it because he didn't put Tabasco on it. Usually when he puts Tabasco on his food, that's how he kind of know like you needed to do something different next time. And this time he didn't do that. So I was honestly really proud of myself. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, and here is the great reveal. This was so good. So, like I said, I wish it was a little bit more runny. It was more kind of like a rice dish, but with a little bit of juice. But we really, in all, really liked it. It kind of had a chili consistency, which Gabe liked. And putting all the cheese in it made it just ten times better. Um, I love the rough chopped bell peppers in it. I wish I kind of made them a little bit more roughly chopped, just so you had more of a bell pepper flavor, because they did get really soft after boiling for a while. Um, but let me know down below. Do you like the consistency of this soup or would you want it more runny? I wish I had a little bit more runny to it, but that's just my personal opinion. This ended up being one of my favorite recipes I think I've ever tried. We added in some cheese and a lot of it because we love some cheese around here. Well, personally, I'm not a cheesy girl, but when it comes to soup, I like some cheese in my soup. But other than that, I don't really like cheese and I married the most cheesy loving guy ever. Um, so I say we like cheese in this house because Gabe likes cheese and the dogs like cheese. Um, but y'all look at this. It mixed all together and the cheese was just so creamy in it. It was just thick and yummy and hearty and so good. So I'm sorry about my dogs barking in the background. Honestly, if we just keep it real life around here. They follow me everywhere I go. So you're just going to have to hear the puppies in the back. But y'all, this soup, y'all have to try it. And you're going to have to tell me how you like it. So I also tried this red wine. So my friend gave me a bunch of bottles of wine for my birthday. She said this one was from Aldi. And it was a sweet red wine. And it was actually Okay, y'all. Really so good. this is what we have left from tonight's dinner. And I'm thinking what we can do is take this little bit. Because this is one more serving. Put it in a container with some cheese and pack it in our lunch for tomorrow for work. So this ended up being the perfect meal for two. Halving the recipe was absolutely perfect and I love using it in my little mini Dutch oven. Um, This pot looks pretty big but it's actually kind of small for a Dutch oven. It's like the size, a little bit bigger than my hand. Um, But I think this recipe turned out really good. Gabe absolutely loved it. I loved it too. Um, I used to slap your mama like the recipe stated and I will also link down below the recipe in the comments if you want to use the full amount or do half like I did. Um, um, but I used slap your mama like they asked in the recipe and it was honestly really spicy. Did you think it was kind of spicy? I loved it. Gabe likes spicy, but to me it was spicy like I added Tabasco or something. Um, but yeah, this was tonight's dinner. Also, my friend gave me this for my birthday. It is a sweet red wine. She said it is from Aldi and it's probably like one of the cheapest you can get. And honestly, you guys, it's pretty good. So um, I hope you guys had a great day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. You get mad when I ask what you're doing Cut me up all night, just feeling stupid For wondering where you 